Page 24, a hiding game. 4-4 four, four time, we've got interesting things going on here, so let's just take this one hand at a time. Now I want to talk a little bit about what this chart is there on page 24. They say a middle D position here, because that's where your hands are. It's not middle D because there's a middle D on the keyboard. There is no such thing as a middle D on the keyboard. There's a middle C on the keyboard, but it isn't because it's the keyboard. It's because it's middle C in the music. There is no middle D in the music. So what they're saying is that the D is in the middle of the hands here. So don't be confused that, well, this is middle C. That has to be middle D. It isn't. There is no such thing. They give you these little charts at the beginning of these pieces to tell you the hand position, but I'd like really prefer that you look at the music and figure out the position from that rather than because you won't always have a chart so if you understand how to figure out the position then you can always be ready no matter what piece you're playing so here if you look at the beginning in the right hand when it plays it has an E and a G and it's using two and four if I do that I'm in this position that's fine I'll get to the left hand in a minute let's do right hand here we have an E and a G Rest on beat one. One, two, three, four. Next measure, it's an F and a G here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, like so. Second line, now you get the melody. One and two and three and four. And remember, one and two and for eighth notes. The whole note in the next measure is four counts. Over on page 25, at the top. One, two, three, four, one, two. Remember, half notes get two counts. Three, four, one, and two, and three. Eighth notes, one, and two, and one, and two, and three. And that pretty much does the right hand. Left hand, you're starting out second finger on middle C. That puts you in this position. So you're here, one and two and, one and two and three and four and, one and two and three and four and. Hopefully you know what these notes are in the music. I mean, you already know metal C, I hope, and the D is just right above it. You just, you need to memorize them. So when you see these notes in the music, you just instantly know what they are. Second line, you have an A and a C. It's a B and a D here. That's what those are. Oh boy. And that takes you through the whole piece pretty much until you get to the bottom of page 25. The last measure. There's a note there, LH over RH, which means the left hand crosses over the right hand. So you're going to play the C and then you're going to come way up here to do the C and the E here. And I'll come back to that in a minute. Put the hands together very carefully. Now it's okay at this point to hesitate. You hesitate, you figure this out first. So it's here and then here. Make sure you get these rests in in the right hand. Like so. In the second line, the right hand gets the melody. Top of page 25. See? The second line, last measure here, it's a B and a D and an F and a G at the same time. And then you're going to hold the right hand down, it's a whole note, and then play the G. Just like that. And then we go on. Takes us down to the bottom, the last measure. You're here. And then you, the left hand, like I said before, crosses over the right to get these notes. So you're like that. Okay. Once you can sort of get that and get the hesitations worked out, practice it because it's all right to hesitate at first when you're figuring it out. But then you work out the hesitation so the beat goes on. Doesn't matter how fast you go at this point. You go nice and slow so you get it. Then you can go back and add the articulation. Staccatos here and a nice light wrist staccato here. And it's in both hands here, so. But 
Now this is staccato, but this isn't. So it's... So that's tricky there on that. This comes out, but that doesn't. It comes up on that. So work on that. And then on the second line, now that's connected, but the left hand is still staccato. Now when you get to top of page 25, there are no staccatos anymore. Now it's, you just connect it as best you can. You can't connect this. You're going to have a little silence, but hang on to it. Do the best you can there. So we did have st staccato here. You can go ahead and staccato the left hand with it if you want. It's just easier to do them both the same. That's all. That's okay. There's no big deal. Then you, you get that okay, you can add the dynamics then. You're, you're loud at the beginning and that's the left, that's the melody, it's the left hand. You have to decide how loud that is and keep the other hand a little softer. We want to hear the melody, not this. And the second line is the right hand that is loud. Keep the left hand soft. Don't let this overpower it. It's got to be soft, so we, we want to hear the right hand. And then at the top of page 25, now you're soft. That's the right hand. Decide what soft is here. And keep the left hand really soft. Then you crescendo up. Then come back down. Soft, second line. Then you crescendo up again. And there's a retardando there where you slow down. Now you're loud in the left hand because that's the melody. It's like it was at the beginning. And then in the last line, you're starting it loud, you're going to end it soft, but you got the whole line to get there, so plan it out. It's like the first measure, I'm going to stay loud. In the next measure, I'm going to come down a little bit to moderately loud. Next measure, it's moderately soft. Come down a little more. Now I'm soft. And that's the right, uh, the left hand. Left, the right hand needs to be way out of the way. We want to hear this. Then there's a retardando there when they spell it all out. So you're gradually going to slow that down. So you're going to get softer and slower at the same time. Uh. Continue to slow down the count until the very end when you can finally lift everything up. Speed wise, it says Allegro. Allegro's fast, but it has to be your fast, not my fast. So you'll have to decide what you think fast is. Whatever fast is, that's it. If your fast is this, That's good enough. It's whatever your fast is. As you get better with piano, your fast will get faster, and that's fine. You can always come back and play this again later. But so don't go beyond what you can play accurately. But whatever fast is, that's what this is, should be. Now they've added pedal in two spots. You don't really need pedal in this piece at all, but they did. It gives us an excuse to use it. So let's try it out. You're going to push the notes down first, and then the pedal. So this is on page 25, the second line, last measure. Push the notes down first and then the pedal. And then at the end, when you're ready to go on, lift the pedal with the hand so we get a little silence before we go on. 
same thing at the bottom. Push the notes down first and then the pedal. And the crossover. And at the end, you lift the hands and the pedal at the same time. What is time? Whatever. And that's the pedal. Now you put your foot on the pedal at the beginning of the piece. Don't wait until you need it to put the foot on the pedal. Just put it on the pedal and leave it there. Now I'd like to play this very slowly and have you play it with me. Now you go ahead and learn it. Get it all learned and all the hesitation's gone. Then let's play it together slowly to double check your notes and rhythms. I'm not going to do the dynamics. You can do that. There's a repeat sign at the bottom of page 24, so you're going to play that page twice. And then we go on. The fermatas over on page 25. That's the half note. There's a half note in there. There's a whole note and a half note. A half note is what I'm after. I'm going to hold that four counts instead of two for the fermata. If you're not playing with a metronome, you just hold it out until it feels right. But with a metronome, I have to stay with that. So I'm going to give us four counts, and let's play this together very slowly. One, two, ready, go. Repeat. Hold two off. <laughs> 